and welcome to another SEO Autopilot software video tutorial. In this video, we will present Settings field. Click on Settings. As you see, there are various tabs. The first tab is related to software appearance. The first option is Show Toolbar. If you uncheck it, then the toolbar will be deactivated. If you want to activate it again, click on Manage and then Settings. The second option is Show Status Bar. The status bar shows which and how many campaigns have been created and which are currently running. If you uncheck it, the status bar will be deactivated. If you wish to reactivate it, just check the option again and click OK. The third option is Show Log. Logs are created automatically by the SEO Autopilot software when a campaign is running. If you uncheck it, logs will be deactivated. If you want to reactivate logs, just check the option and click OK. The fourth option is about whether you want the website's domain authority to be displayed inside the campaign. Let's have a look at this option. On the Manage Campaigns field, you click Create. Give a name to your campaign, and when Diagram Editor appears, click Next. You see on the left side the list of the websites that are included in the SEO Autopilot software database. On the right side of each website, its domain authority is displayed. If, for any reason, you do not want the domain authority of the websites to be displayed, you uncheck the option. The last option is about Diagram Editor. What it basically does is display the link group number on the editor. Let's see an example with the option unchecked. On the Manage Campaigns field, we click Create. Give a name to your campaign, and when Diagram Editor appears, click on Diagram Editor button. For example, use three Web 2.0's groups. As you see, the groups are not numbered. Let's see how the groups appear if you choose the option. Show number on group names. Click on settings and then check the option. Show number on group names. Follow the previous procedure. You see now that the groups are numbered in order to identify easily which exactly groups you use. The second tab is about submission settings. We totally recommend you should not do any changes in this field. The third tab is proxies. It is quite clear and it is about whether you want to use proxies or not. You can see here the proxy formats you may use. If you check on the option Use Proxies, the field is activated. When you insert your proxies, you check which of them work or not. SEO Autopilot software will automatically delete the ones that do not work. The fourth tab is about third-party APIs you can use with SEO Autopilot software. It is divided into four sub-tabs. The first tab is about CAPTCHA solving. Let me remind you that the two CAPTCHA API is compulsory in order for the SEO Autopilot software to work properly. On the API key field, just enter your two CAPTCHA API key. If you do not have two CAPTCHA API key, you can get one through the SEO Autopilot software by visiting two CAPTCHA website. Just click on Visit button.
If you already have a TwoCAPTCHA API and want to check your balance, you can click on the Balance button and check your TwoCAPTCHA balance from inside the SEO Autopilot software. The second tab is Premium Spinners, which you can use with SEO Autopilot software. At the time of this video recording, SEO Autopilot software comes with two premium spinners, Spin Rewriter and Word AI. We will add more premium spinners to our software soon. Nevertheless, if you do not have or do not want to use premium spinners, SEO Autopilot software provides a very good and reliable free spinner for all users. The third tab is Premium Article Builders, which you can use with SEO Autopilot software. For the time being, Article Forge is available, but in due time, more premium article builders will be added, such as Content Machine. The fourth tab is Premium Indexers, which you can use with SEO Autopilot software. Three premium indexers are available, and of course, there is also the free SEO Autopilot software indexer. Indexing your backlinks is very important because the results on SERPs directly depend on backlinks indexing. The last main tab is titled Generator. SEO Autopilot software uses this field in order to create post titles at various link groups such as web 2.0s and social bookmarkings. You can always place your own spun file with your titles by adding five hashtag where you want your keywords to appear exactly as it is displayed on the SEO Autopilot software default spun file. That was a settings overview. Thanks for watching. See you in the next SEO Autopilot software video tutorial.